This is 2010 AMC 12A problem 19. Each of 2010 boxes in a line contains a single red marble. Let's write that down. So we have we have a bunch of boxes. You have box 1, box 2, box 3 all the way all the way to box 2010 and all of them has one red marble. So all of these has one red. And let's continue reading. And for every single box between 1 and 2010, the box in the case position also contains K white marble. So the first box, first box contains one white marble, second box contains two, third box contains three, all the way to 2010's box containing 2010 white marbles. Let's continue. And Isabella begins at the first box and successfully draws a single marble at random from each box in order. So she's not going back and forth. She starts at one, then does two, three, four, so on. And she stops when she first draws a red marble. It's not white, it's red. Let's make sure we distinguish. And we're going to let P of N be the probability that Isabella stops after drawing exactly N marbles. And that's telling you every single marble from 1 all the way up to N minus 1 was white. And the Nth marble, which made her stop, was red. So that's what we know from this information. And we wish to find the smallest value of n for which p of n is less than 1 over 2010. So let's think about this. So we, you're doing box 1, box 2, box 3 all the way till box n minus 1, then box n. And box n minus 1 contains 1 red and n minus 1 white. Box n contains 1 red and n white. And we know from box 1 to box n minus 1, you obtained white. And for box n, you got red. That's what the information told us. So we know we to find probability of this thing occurring, you got to multiply a bunch of them. So for the first one, what's the probability of getting white? So we're trying to find p of n. What's the probability of getting white for the first one? Well, there's only one white out of two marbles, so it's 1 over 2. And for the second one, there's you want to get white once again. So you have 2 over, now you have 3 marbles, then you have 3 fourths, all the way to you have n minus 1 white out of n. And for the nth marble, you want to get red. And there's only one red out of n plus 1 marbles. So you have this thing being equal to p of n, and you want this to be less than 1 over 2010. So let's try to simplify this, which simplifies nicely. 2's cancel out, 3's cancel out, 4's cancel out, 5's cancel out, all the way to n minus 1's cancelling out. So you have 1 over n times n plus 1 is less than 1 over 2010. And since this side is positive, because n is positive, and 1 over 2010 is positive, you can flip this inequality. And when you flip inequality, when both of them are positive, you have to flip the sign. Because consider 1 over 3 being less than 1 half, which is true. If you flip both of them, now you have 3 being greater than 2, so the sign has to be flipped. And that's when both of these both, both of these quantities are positive. When one of them is negative and one of them is positive, you got to follow different rules. But in this case, you want to switch the sign. So you have n times n plus 1 is greater than 2010. And we wish to find the smallest value of n, which satisfies this equation. And since we have a bunch of values given to us, it's a multiple choice test, let's take advantage of it. Let's start with a45 and see if that if that match if that satisfies this inequality so if when n is 45 you have 45 times 46 which is 45 times 46 gets to 0 27018 that's 2000, 2070 and that's barely greater than 2010 so 45 satisfies this equation and you may realize as n gets larger, n times n plus 1 is going to get larger. So our answer is not going to be greater than 45. So it's going to be 45 
or less and it's very likely to be 45 because 45 is barely when you plug in 45 it's barely bigger than 2010 by only 60 so 45 or less has to be our answer and b is more than 45 c is more than 45 d is more than 45 e is more than 45 so our answer has to be a but for the sake of completeness Let's try out 44. Let's try out if 44 satisfies this inequality. So you have 44 times 45, which is 45 times 44 in this case. So you have 0, 1, 8, 0, 1, 8. And that gets us uh, 1980, which is less than 2010. So 44 doesn't work out. So this inequality starts working out. It's valid starting n equals to 45. So 45 is the smallest n that satisfies this inequality and our answer is A.